So in the last video, I created a function where you moved forward. It's probably a good idea if you put this little debug statement in here, uh, which will give you the output over here. You can see there um, that when you're moving forward, it'll tell you what speed you're moving forward. That'll be helpful at a certain time. We're now just gonna create two different types of stop function to stop the motors from moving. Uh, the first one we're going to call um, is coast, D-E-F coast uh, and open and close brackets it's not going to take any variables in but simply what it's going to basically do let's just copy this whole section here control C and control V uh, and we're going to replace this word with coasting uh, and we're just going to set these all to zero And basically coasting will basically turn everything off so that if we want our robot to coast um, we're basically going to run the robot and coast the problem with coast is that the momentum will still be in the robot so the weight of the robot will continue to push it uh, when the motors are off and it will continue to move a little bit so we're also going to write a function here uh, called break which is a braking function uh, which is going to be the same as all this, uh, sort of. Um, and we're going to go down here and take that out, press Control V, to paste that in. And we're going to put in break. Oops, not break, we like that, B R A K. Uh, and we're basically going to set everything to 100, which will basically, if you do a subtraction, does the same thing. But because we're actually pulsing this at 50 hertz and they're slightly out of kilter, it'll basically cause the motor really quickly to move backwards and forwards uh, very quickly, but we won't see it, so it'll be stuck in a single spot. Before we do that, though, we really should call in the coast function just to turn everything off. And then we'll go time.sleep, and we're going to sleep for 0. 0.5 one let's get 0.05 so really a really small amount of time uh, and then we're going to break it and then we're going to turn everything on uh, to do that so in our main program now I'm going to move down here basically I'm going to move forward for 0.5 and then I'm going to break and you will notice the difference when you run this um, so basically I'm going to press control save to save it I'm going to type in run module and you should see that the robot should stop very, very suddenly at the end, once it runs. And you can see that it ran very suddenly at the end, except for some strange reason, it didn't run very suddenly for one particular one, and I can see why there. Uh, and this should be an L, and this should be an L, and this should be an L, so let's test that again. So I'm just gonna stand up and move my robot back into place. There we go. I'm going to press Control Save to save that now and run the module. Okay, and that stopped very suddenly and with a good amount of control. So that's basically how you drive forward, how you coast, and how you brake. You need to also write a function called reverse. You also need to write a function called left and you need to write a function called right so that your robot can turn left, right and forward at a given speed uh, and also go reverse at a given speed.